Hello everyone, I'm Melissa. Welcome to my channel, Gentle Yoga and Wellness. Today, I have a gentle yoga class for seniors and beginners. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all of your support. All right, let's get started. We'll start today's class in a cross-legged position. So you can sit just like I'm sitting right now. If this position is not comfortable for your body, you're welcome to sit in another way that feels good. Make sure that your sit bones are firmly rooted into the earth. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, and sit up tall. You wanna think about lengthening through your spine. Once you're in position, begin to take both of your hands behind your head with your elbows out wide. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest, and take your gaze slightly up. As you exhale, begin to round through your back and bring your elbows inward. We'll do that again. Take a deep breath in, open your arms out to the side, lift through your chest, and look up. As you exhale, slowly begin to round through the back and bring the elbows together. We'll continue that pattern here. Take a deep breath in, lift through the chest. Exhale, slowly round through the back. Good, let's do that one more time. Deep breath in, fill up your lungs with oxygen. Exhale and slowly let it go. Good. You can begin to just release your arms down to your thighs. We'll do a few shoulder shrugs here. So start to take your shoulders up, back, and down. And then we'll do that again. Take your shoulders up, back, and down. So we're just starting to warm up through the body here. Think about releasing and relaxing your shoulders as you move. Great. Relax your shoulders down. Just sit up tall. From here, begin to hinge forward from your waist. You're coming forward and then begin to move to the right. We're going to make a big circle all the way around with our upper body. So I call this movement, stir the pot. We'll do that three more times. So just start to move at your own pace. Good, and we're making that big circle all the way around as you hinge from your waist. We'll do that two more times. Think about breathing into this movement. Good, one more time all the way around. Once you have completed your circle, come back to a neutral spine to sit up tall. Take your right hand behind you on the ground or close to your hips, and then take your left hand on your right thigh. We're preparing for a seated spinal twist. So lift through your chest and then slowly begin to rotate. Take your gaze over to the right. As we pause here, start to focus on your breath. I want you to think about slowing down your breathing. So just really taking your time as you inhale and as you exhale. Let's take one more breath in, and then as you exhale, slowly release and return to center. Nice job. We're gonna flow through that series one more time. So begin to take your fingertips behind your head, take your elbows wide out to the side. Just as we did before, begin to take a deep breath in, take your gaze up and lift your chest. As you exhale, slowly round through your back, bring your gaze inward, and bring the elbows together. Inhale, lift the chest, open the arms out to the side. 
exhale, slowly round the back, bring the elbows in. Let's do that two more times. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly release. Once more, really think about filling your lungs all the way up. Exhale and let it go. Nice job. Just release your hands down to your thighs and we'll do another round of shoulder shrugs right here. So begin to take your shoulders up, back, and down. And then continue that movement. Just moving your shoulders in a circular motion. Remember, we're really trying to release and relax the shoulders. Good, just relax the shoulders down, return to your neutral spine. And we'll come to stir the pot now on the left side. So start to slowly hinge forward from your waist. Rotate to the left this time. We're gonna make a big circle all the way around moving to the left. Okay, let's continue that movement. As you move, you can just start to think about warming up your body, moving your energy, moving your prana throughout the body. I feel this movement in my low back and then I also feel a nice opening in my hips. Good. We're going to do that one more time all the way around. Just take your time here. Once you have completed that circle, you can just pause and return to your neutral spine. Begin to take your left hand down to your mat, close to your hips for a little bit of support here. Take your right hand on the outside of your left thigh. Lift through your chest and then rotate from the waist and take your gaze over to the left. Coming into seated spinal twist, now on the opposite side. Let's bring our awareness back to the breath and really focus on lengthening and expanding the breath. We're just taking our time as we breathe in and out. We notice that as we slow down the breath, it helps the mind and body to relax and release. Let's take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly unwind and return to center. We'll transition now to tabletop position. So start to thread your legs behind you and come up onto your hands and onto your knees. In tabletop pose, take a moment to make sure that your knees are stacked right under your hips. Make sure that your wrists are stacked right under your shoulders. You might need to scoot around a little bit to make sure you have a nice supported base for your body. And begin to spread your fingertips out wide. Take your gaze in front of you. Once you're in position, we'll do some cat cows here to warm up through our spine. So begin to take a deep breath in and lift the chest, slightly arch through the back. Exhale around the back and take the gaze inward. Inhale, lift the chest, gently squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round through the back. Inhale and rise. Exhale, slowly release. Inhale, lift the chest for cow pose. Exhale, release for cat pose. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round the back, push the ground away from you. Good, you can come back to your neutral spine here. And from here, we're going to start by reaching our right hand to the top of the mat. So you wanna reach your right fingertips 
towards the top of the mat. Begin to thread your left arm underneath and come into thread the needle pose. For thread the needle pose, relax your ear and cheek down to the mat. Just let your head rest heavy on the earth. In this stretch, you should feel a nice opening in your shoulder and then a lengthening through your back as well. Let's pause here for a moment to just enjoy this thread the needle stretch. So you're ready, slowly begin to rise and come back to your tabletop position. So you're returning to your hands and to your knees. From here, begin to take your knees wide out to the sides of your mat. So we're gonna come into child's pose. So your knees are coming wide, close to the sides of your mat. You're going to reach your fingertips towards the top of the mat and then relax your forehead all the way down to the earth. If you're feeling a little tight today, or you know that your forehead will not reach all the way down to the earth, you're welcome to take a yoga block or a folded blanket or towel, and you'll just place that underneath your forehead for a little bit of support. So I'll show you what that looks like. So with the yoga block, you would just rest your forehead on the block like this. If you're coming all the way down to the earth, you would reach your fingertips to the top of the mat and then just relax your forehead all the way down to the mat. Begin to take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow exhale through your mouth. Do that once more. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow exhale through your mouth. to slowly rise and return to your tabletop position. So come back to your hands and to your knees. Once you're in tabletop position, begin to extend your right leg long behind you. So it looks like this. You're gonna curl the toes of your right foot underneath you. Then push the heel of your right foot. So you're gonna push through your heel of your right foot with your right foot and right leg extended, just like this. Once you're in this position, we're gonna slowly start to rock forward and back. So let's continue that movement, rocking forward and back. As you rock forward, you'll shift your weight forward. As you rock back, you're going to push into the heel of your right foot. So as you push back, you're gonna feel a really nice stretch in the calf muscle of your right leg. Good, so you can just move here at your own pace, gently shifting forward and back. And you can always just hold too, if that feels good for your body, you can just hold pushing back into your heel. It's a really nice calf muscle stretch. Okay, let's do that a couple more times, rocking forward and back once more. Good, pause here. We're gonna transition now to spinal balance pose. So it looks like this. We're going to lift our right leg off of the mat. 
So just where your leg is, go ahead and lift it off the mat using your glute muscles. I'm really activating my glutes to lift my right leg. You're welcome to stay right here in this position. It's a great balancing posture. Or if you'd like a little bit more challenge, you can lift your opposite arm. So you're gonna lift your left arm off the mat. Good. So in this spinal balance pose, we're working on balance and we're working on core activation. So we're working our abdominal muscles. Just take a couple breaths here. Good, one more inhale. Exhale, release your hand and knee back down to the mat. You can return to tabletop position. Great job, that was a challenging one. Go ahead and rotate now to face the long end of your mat. You can sit cross-legged here if that's comfortable for your body. Good, make sure your sit bones are rooted into the earth. Sit up tall. We're going to do a seated forward fold. So it looks like this. Start to take your hands in front of your body. So just in front of your legs. And then very slowly start to walk your hands a little bit further out. So you can just take little baby steps with your hands until you start to feel a nice stretch in your low back and your hips. If you're feeling any pain or any discomfort in this posture, start to back those hands up and sit up taller. We don't wanna feel pain. This should be a gentle, relaxing stretch. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk those hands out until you're in a spot where you're feeling a nice stretch. You'd like to take this a little bit deeper and it feels good for your body. You're welcome to take your forearms in front of you and stack your forearms on top of each other and then rest your forehead on top of your arms. Very slowly begin to straighten your arms if you're not there already. Walk your hands close to your body and then sit up tall. Great job. We're going to transition now to the short end of our mat. And we're gonna come back into tabletop position. So come back onto your hands and your knees. Your knees are getting tender at all. You're welcome to place a blanket underneath your knees for a little bit of extra padding. It'd be helpful, especially if you're on hard floor or tiled floor. Okay, once you're in tabletop position, we're gonna do some cat cows here. So let's make sure that our knees are stacked under our hips and take a minute, make sure your wrists are stacked under your shoulders. You wanna have that nice firm base to support your body. Spread your fingertips out wide and take your gaze in front of you. On your next inhale, begin to gently lift your chest and slightly arch through your back. As you exhale, round the back and take the gaze inward. Inhale, lift through the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, round the back, hollow out the belly. Inhale and rise. Exhale, slowly release. Inhale, begin to lift the chest, come to cow pose. Exhale, gently round the back for cat pose. We'll do that two more times. Take a deep breath in and rise. Exhale, slowly release. Inhale, think about broadening through the collarbones. Lift the chest. Exhale, hollow out the belly, push the ground away from you. Good, 
Good, you can return to a neutral spine here. So just come back to your tabletop position. From tabletop, begin to reach your left arm this time towards the top of your mat. So reach through your left fingertips. Reach your left arm to the top of the mat and then thread your right arm underneath for thread the needle pose. Begin to relax your head and your ear, your cheek down to the mat. You'll wanna just let your head rest heavy on the earth. Keep your hips lifted up towards the sky. Let's pause here for a moment to just enjoy the stretch. Once you're ready, you can slowly begin to push yourself back up to tabletop position. So come back to your hands and to your knees. From here, we'll transition to child's pose. So take your knees wide out to the sides of your mat. And then remember, if you're using that block or towel underneath your forehead for a little support, you're welcome to grab that. If you're not using anything under your forehead, you can just reach your fingertips to the top of the mat and then relax your forehead all the way down to the earth. Start to take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow exhale through your mouth. Once more, take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow exhale through your mouth. Slowly begin to rise, return to your tabletop position. So come back to your hands and to your knees. Once you're in tabletop pose, begin to extend your left leg this time behind you. Curl your toes under and push through the heel of your left foot. So your left leg is extended nice and long and then your left foot is on the mat, just like mine is right now. Once you're in this position, we're going to start to rock forward and back. So you probably remember this from the other side. Start to rock forward and then push back. So as you rock forward, you're coming more into your toes. And then as you rock back, you're really pushing into the heel of your left foot. So let's continue this movement. Just gently rocking forward and rocking back. You can take this at your own pace. Remember, as we push back into the heel of our left foot, that's where we feel that really nice stretch in our left calf muscle. Remember, you can always hold it here too if that feels good for you, or you can continue to rock forward and back. Just notice what's feeling good for your body today. All right, let's do that one more time. Rock forward and then gently rock back. We'll pause here. We're gonna transition now to spinal balance pose. Let's so begin to lift your left leg off of the mat. Engage your glutes to lift your leg. Remember, you can stay right here with your leg lifted, working on balance in this pose. Or for a little bit more challenge, you can lift your opposite arm. So you're lifting your left leg and your right arm. 
And this is a challenging pose. We're really working on balance and stability here. We're also working on core strength. So we're activating through our abdominals. Good, let's stay for a couple more breaths. One more inhale, exhale, release, and return to tabletop position. Great job. Let's start to flip over so that you come onto your backside. So just come onto your sit bones. You can bend your knees and begin to reach both of your arms in front of you. Lift your chest and then very, very slowly begin to lower yourself down to your mat. So you're using your core strength, your abdominals here to lower yourself down into a lying position. Once you are lying on your mat, you can keep your knees bent and then begin to lift the soles of your feet up towards the sky. Bend your knees deeply as we come into happy baby pose. For happy baby pose, you can take your hands and grab onto the outside calf muscles, the ankles, or the inside soles of your feet. So pick a position either on the outside of your calves, the ankles, or the inside soles of your feet. Once your hands are in position, gently begin to pull your legs a little bit closer to your chest. In happy baby pose, you should feel a gentle opening in your hips and your inner thighs. Let's take one more deep breath in. As you exhale, release your hands from your legs. Come to a comfortable lying position. So relax your legs down, relax your arms to the sides of your body. Gently rock your shoulder blades underneath you to open up your chest. Rotate the palms of your hands to face up to the ceiling and begin to close your eyes. Start to bring your awareness and your focus to your breath. Begin to take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow exhale through your mouth. Once more, take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, slow Exhale through your mouth. Begin to allow yourself to settle in and experience the feelings of deep relaxation in your mind and in your body. Slowly start to bring your awareness back to your breath. Become aware of your body. Notice how your body is feeling in this moment. Start to gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly begin to rock your head from side to side. Once you're ready, begin to open your eyes. Start to rock onto one side and use your arm to gently push yourself up. Come to a seated position. 
begin to take your hands to prayer center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.